What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today, well we're starting today like every other review but it really is not. We have reached the next level. This is the Roof CTR anniversary concept and it is one of the craziest, most insane and most special cars we've ever featured on our channel. I am super happy that we're able to bring this to you. Uh, I want to say a big thanks to the guys over at Roof for making this happen, for having us over and for allowing us to drive this awesome, awesome machine. Now I have to start by saying that this is the prototype version. So if you see any cables or anything like that, uh, that's not going to be in the finished product, of course. That's just because this is the only prototype uh, there is. And uh, well, it is magnificent. So today I'm going to show you around it. I'm going to talk you through all the stuff that makes this car special, which is a lot. So get ready, get some chips and drinks ready and sit down because it's going to be a big one. Uh, after that, I'm going to take it for a drive somewhere on this beautiful road here. And after that, later on, we'll take it to the Autobahn as well. But before we begin, make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more crazy car content like this. I mean, this is pretty epic. Make sure you turn on notifications, hit that bell icon and check us out on Instagram for some behind the scenes footage if you like at Autotop.nl. And also be sure to check out Roof because this company is something else. They started in 1939 repairing uh, any kind of motor vehicle basically. So if it had an engine and four wheels or two wheels, uh, they would fix it, uh, motorcycles, tractors, lorries, cars, whatever, you name it, they fixed it. And from there they built this company and it is still owned by the same family and they still build these crazy cars. I mean, you might know the roofs from the 80s and 90s, the zeros, they are still building these insane cars. Now this anniversary special, of course, is an homage to the Yellowbird, which was a car that Roof built in 1987 and featured this yellow color, uh, Blossom Yellow, basically in English. They featured this car at a test with Lamborghinis, Ferraris, whatever you name it, and the weather was really bad. It was like a gloomy, dark day. And one of the journalists of Road & Track magazine, I believe, named this car Yellowbird because it was so bright yellow and everything else was so gloomy. And the name stuck basically. Now, Roof doesn't use this name themselves. I mean, they know that it's out there, um, but this car is not called the Yellowbird. It's just called the CTR, which stands for Group C Turbo Roof. And well, it might look like a Porsche 964, um, which, you know, it has a lot of resemblance, but it's not. It's not based on a Porsche. This is a manufacturer. Roof builds everything basically themselves. So this car, which pays tribute to that yellow bird, which was based on a 964, has been built from the ground up. We've got a carbon fiber monocoque chassis. We've got all carbon fiber body panels. Everything is custom made basically and it is just so gorgeous to look at. It, it, it's mind-blowing how beautiful this is. The craftsmanship um, and everything just, everything fits so well, both parts-wise as well as just the look of it. It just all works. Now, they even have their own light units, as you can see, which is one of the most expensive and difficult things to make on a car. And as you can see, we also have roof wheels. Now, these are, forged alloy wheels and they are 19 inch absolutely gorgeous center lock wheels we've got ceramic brakes behind that and basically uh, you can spec the car completely to your own wish so you can choose everything they have 250,000 colors you can choose from um, you can choose if you want you know ceramic brakes or not you can choose the color of the caliper you can choose the interior the stitching everything uh, they also have three body types available. So this is the mid version. This is the turbo body. So you can see that it has the nice wide body here. There's also a narrow body version and an even wider version than this, which is uh, I think like two and a half centimeters on each side wider than this. So that's super, super wide. So at the rear, we've got this massive wide body and this air intake here, which is just gorgeous. Yeah, I don't know guys, it, it, this is end game material. This 
for me, this is it. I, I don't think it gets cooler than this. This is basically a, a modern supercar um, with a carbon fiber classic car body on top of it. It, it, it just it ticks all the boxes. It is absolutely ridiculous. So again, those light units, I'll turn on the ignition so you guys can see the lights as well. But I don't want to drain the battery, so. So you can see beautiful LED lights uh, made by the company that also does the lights for the concept cars at Audi. So you can see just beautiful modern light units still with that classic shape. So let's open that up and I'll show you guys the engine. So what do we have here? The beating heart of the CTR. Well, we've got a 3.6 liter Boxer 6 with two turbos on top of it. Now, uh, you might think that this is a Porsche engine, but it's not. It's their own. So they actually make their own engines and it's made to look like an air-cooled engine, but it's actually a liquid-cooled engine and it delivers uh, around 710 horsepower and 880 newton meters of torque. Now, think about that. I just told you that this car has a carbon fiber monocoque chassis. All the body panels are carbon fiber. Um, yeah, this car doesn't weigh a lot. It's around 1,250 kilos. So that is ridiculous. 710 horsepower to 1,250 kilos. That's a lot. Now you can also see the suspension there, Tractive. I hope you guys can see that. It's a Dutch company, yay. And it's push rod suspension, beautiful with double wishbones. And uh, yeah, it's all just modern, super modern stuff with this old car on top of it. And I absolutely love that. So that's closed. Exhaust made from Inconel and uh, also has that classic look. Bumpers with those holes in there, absolutely beautiful with the spoiler here. Massive, massive wing completely flat so this car will actually do 360 kilometers an hour which is mental okay so uh you can actually see the carbon tub here now this uh tub actually only weighs 80 kilos that's that's how light this stuff is um this entire body panel here the roof the rear this is all one panel up until here this weighs 13 kilos i mean how crazy is that that is so light uh, we've got these beautiful bucket seats with of course the old school plaid fabric on there and in here it's just a very nice it's super like basic and clean and retro modern it's it's perfectly judged and we've got this beautiful instrument cluster in front of us uh, with the rev counter in front of me there and a speedo that goes up to 400 a beautiful leather covered steering wheel and we've got a seven speed manual gearbox which they made together with zf so it's not the porsche gearbox this is a roof gearbox and uh, the seventh gear unlike with porsche is not an overdrive so you actually hit top speed in seventh gear yeah, it, it, it's pretty incredible, this car. It, it just boggles my mind. And uh, we got a tour at the factory and it was so cool to see everything. It, it's like time stood still in the best way possible. Like everything that's great from back in the day is saved, but combined with all this modern technology with like a carbon tub and a beautiful newly built 3.6 liter flat six with 700 horsepower. It's like the best of both worlds. So, start it up. All right, let's take it for a little drive. <laughs> that sounds beautiful. Now, it is a lot of power for this car to handle. Uh, we do have a limited slip diff at the rear. So I'm going to start carefully and see what this car feels like because i only drove it here uh, and i didn't do anything else so 
Let's open the windows a little bit for some sound. Okay, so we're going that way. Oh! Listen to that. That engine sounds so beautiful. It has a little rumble in there as well. And of course you hear those turbos sucking and blowing. Ah, okay, so we're at the main road now. Let's see what this is like. I mean, that's a bit too narrow to uh, hit any throttle. Oh my god! Okay, so I I do think we have traction control because I saw a light on the dash. But there is a lot of turbo power. I mean, that is quite an in intense power delivery. And it sounds so beautiful. Oh, the power delivery is so sudden and it feels quite old school because it spools up quite quickly and you have that you have, you have that power surge that we don't really have any more with modern turbocharged cars, which is, you know, I really, really love that. It's such a cool feeling to to have to, to feel that power build up behind you. But these cars are they are very, very expensive. Of course, they are completely hand built. I mean, they make almost everything in house, and that you know, it's so labor intensive. absolutely brutal it feels like it, it, it does have some resemblance to like a, a 997 GT2 which we drove uh, yesterday I think or the day before that the day before that yeah yeah two days ago oh hello tunnel okay I'll take that uh, not with a truck in it I mean, it's the weight, weight kills fun. And the low weight combined with the high turbo boost <laughs> makes this car an absolute animal. Oh, I mean, I don't think it's a yellow bird anymore. I think it's a yellow hawk or a yellow eagle. What's an aggressive bird? A yellow dinosaur. Oh, oof. My God, it doesn't disappoint. I mean, I grew up watching the yellow bird. I, I played video games with this car. Oh. <laughs> is ridiculous okay let's take it to the autobahn okay so here we go fourth gear at the autobahn which is a very very strong gear fourth is absolutely mental and then you've got fifth a small gap and the thing just pulls all the way to 270 that was insane oh it
it just oh it's so powerful this car and combine that with that low weight it just moves This car it is one of my favorite cars I've ever driven um, I think we're going to turn around here I think that the other way around is is much quieter than this but man what a car I love the manual gearbox it's so tight the throws are short it clicks into place very, very nicely. And you just always know where your next gear is going to be, uh, which is, you know, a very nice thing to have when you're driving a 710 horsepower car with a custom everything, custom made everything and handmade everything. Don't want to ruin the car, obviously. I just love the the old school feel you get in this car. I mean, the turbo spools up so quickly. So you actually have to pay attention. You actually have to pay attention in this car, which in most modern cars, fast supercars, yes, they're incredibly fast, but they're also super easy to drive. And this still has that old school feel. Uh, the guys at the roof actually told me that they have one customer who has the original Yellowbird from 87 and that he actually experienced this with, with that car a couple of times that he woke up, he wanted to go and drive the car, uh, the old one. He stood in front of it and he was like, no, not today. I'm not going to drive it today. I'm not ready for it. And I absolutely love that. I think that is such a cool sentiment to convey to this car. Yes, of course, this is much easier to drive and much better, um, but it still has, it, it shares that DNA. the chassis everything feels so manageable yes of course because it's so light and and stiff uh, you do feel everything in the road you do feel the car going with the road but as long as you're not too crampy about it and just let the car go a little bit it is perfectly doable and I wasn't really expecting that with 710 horsepower 1200 kilos so the turbo boost and the power delivery. Have actually been engineered to feel old school. Um, they told me that there are actually two peaks in there basically, which, which give you that crazy turbo powered uh, feel. to 200 it is mega quick as you might expect um, we measured a 5.6 second run which is seriously quick roof actually says it, it'll do 5.5 and I definitely believe that man it's quick 0 to 100 I don't think I've mentioned that 3.5 should be possible Good 
car. It's got everything. It's got the cool factor. I mean, this is the king of cool. It's got the speed. It's got the suspension. It's got the sound. Mental, absolutely mental. One of my favorites of all time. intense experience I will say that and I absolutely loved it it really is a modern day supercar with a classic body on it and I think that is my new favorite approach to a car man so I want to say thank you to the guys over at Roof for letting me drive this car for trusting us with their prototype I have had a blast absolutely love the car See you guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. See you at the next one, bye.